Hi, my name is Bola Joe Kubola and I play Adetutu Lawao. Hi, my name is Ibrahim Suleiman and I play Anayo Diki. Hmm. Anayo. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I just knew you were going to do that. Because! Okay, this is Segi. She plays the character Dami, my uh, best friend. And this is Teresa and she plays Ehi, yeah. my best friend. Mm -hmm. Right or die. Right or die. <laughs> Hi, my name is Adjoke Silva. Hello, my name is Chico and I play Ibrahim Al Hassan in the series The Olive. You are a terrible leader. Two, the ledger is missing. If I find that ledger before you do, <laughs> I think for me it was my sins with him because I really, well, majorly yeah, my yeah. sins were with yeah. you. And I mean, I think we have what we call like the on-screen chemistry. True it was that. easy to work with him. And um, the crew, and the, like, it, was, it was fun. But with him, basically, because mostly I was with, I was not with him, but I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was acting alongside him. I was not with him. Oh boy. Hi, Yoma. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, you're predictable. I think it's <laughs> get, you know, a stinker. So yeah, um, for me it would be, I mean, obviously my scenes with Tutu, yes, for obvious reasons, oh. and other not so obvious reasons. Then it, the, also the scenes with um, Adora, mm -hmm. I feel like those scenes, those scenes were, they were, they were fun and interesting. But the dynamic between herself, her, her, herself and I, you know, bled, just bled over into our off-screen um, friendship. friendship. So yes, and it's yeah. easy to work with people who are your friends. Yeah, just honestly, honest. yeah. honestly. Oh, I liked singing Happy Birthday for you. Oh yeah, that, that was, was fun. That was really cute. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. that was an exciting moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about for you? That one. That's that one. Moment. <laughs> yep. See more besties. Exactly. Yeah. So the answers will be quite similar. Yeah. I think. Right, that has to be going upstairs. We're about to shoot a scene. I didn't know who I was shooting the scene with. I go upstairs to read, and to my delight, I see Jocker Silver. So that helped me tick that box on my bucket list, playing opposite that great actor. I do, you know, Dami is the cool, calm, collected, and you know, she's the life giver, and I think I'm the life giver too. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I think Ahi is kind of choleric. Mm -hmm. like, she likes to, you know, she's very intentional, yeah. likes to be in control. Mm -hmm. and there's that part of me, yeah. as Teresa, I like to, I like to see things 360. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be surprised to like, you know, so yeah. Try like to analyze. Exactly. Maybe yeah. overanalyze sometimes. Yeah. I'm still learning to stop. But we're actors. We have to analyze. Exactly. And sometimes overanalyze. Like break everything down to the, you know, absolute minuscule. Just yeah. so we can have a better but understanding. That's the thing I do it too as Teresa, not just as a. Yeah, but small Teresa but maybe is the not actor. That much. Right. So it's a good thing to be able to right. do. Right. It's a good skill to have. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, Madame Elaine is a bit more glamorous than I am in real life. Um, I, I, I mean, I can turn up the glam for red carpet for events, but um, Madame Elaine is usually very well turned out at any point in time, no matter where she is. Um, but apart from that, I think there are quite a lot, there, there, there are a lot of characteristics of Madame Elaine that I do have. But, and I think it's the same with, you know, all of us have various segments to our, to our, to our character. Um, but it just, it just happens that some are more to the fore 
than others. We keep some better controlled. Now, and in this case, Madame Elaine, her, her um, evilness in quotes is pretty well to the fore, which mine isn't. Mm. You go first. Okay, um, I think yeah, a bit, I won't lie, because she's not a young woman. Yes. She's, yeah. she's a bit. So she's supposed to be older, older. than mm. you are. I'm, and I'm not mm. that old. I, yeah. It's I, okay. I you're, definitely, you're definitely not that old. It's okay. <laughs> so that, you know, and there's something about Tutu that I like the charisma. You know, when Tutu, Tutu enters the place, you just know that there's a I'm rolling my eyes. I'm rolling my eyes. I'm rolling my eyes. The build. And, and to be honest with you, people can find that very offensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Offensive. Because I, I can, you can almost feel like, what's Tutu like? Mm. I, I, and I kind of felt that a bit, yeah. a bit, I, I kind of felt that, I won't but even you, lie, you but I really, <laughs> I came to work, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> so yes, that, that, that was, you know, because really, I, I think I, I'm a people's person, so mm. being someone that people don't necessarily like as much, yeah. that, was was that was different, was different for yeah. Um, so I think for me, so obviously, first of all, Anoyo is like seven or eight years older than I actually am. Mm -hmm. So, and then I, I am someone's daddy, but he's like nine months old. So I had to play someone who had an 18, a 17 or 18 year old, an 18 year old daughter, mm -hmm. and then two younger um, individuals, offspring. <laughs> individuals. Uh, so, <laughs> so yes, um, trying to find that dynamic between, mm -hmm. um, you know, pushing myself from being, you know, me mm -hmm. to being someone who is quite a bit older, older. and and more responsible, mm -hmm. you know, has people that he's actually responsible for. Mm -hmm. Kind of stretched me a little because the way you communicate changes, your speech patterns, the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, as she said, you know, when you walk into a room, when you experience certain things in life, the way you carry yourself is different. Definitely. So I had to find that for Anayo. And mm -hmm. it stretched me and I loved it. I loved mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. Mm, I know how my stretch me part today, if I can say. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, how did my character stretch me? A he is not. I've never played any character like a he before, and I feel like I can't really say a lot mm. because I don't want to give away the story. You're just going to have to watch to know. Mm -hmm. But it's deep. I had to dig deep, mm. basically. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't be surface with mm -hmm. it. I had to really dig deep, so yeah, and bring that intensity. Yeah, it's very intense. Yeah. Um, how did mine stretch me? I would say just you know, um, sometimes on set due to circumstances, you know, just having to. How how's the best way to put it? Um, kind of fill in for other people as well, like mm. on the go, um, without having without having the time to like, you know, really rehearse or practice or whatever. So that was, um, that was interesting. Okay. <laughs> I think that everything is not the way it seems. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that sometimes when you want something, you in Tutu's mm -hmm. defense, now what, when, what you whatever you want, you go for it, and you seize the opportunity, which is what Tutu Just was trying to trying do. To and you know, friendship, love, loyalty. Loyalty. Yes. Yes, I learned those things. <laughs> I think my answer was kind of in there, but <laughs> let me just try and, you know, give it. Um, I think one of the things that I learned is that synergy is important. Yeah. It's, 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 it's paramount, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're working with people who you get along with on and off screen, it just makes the work less work. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. basically that. Um, as an actor, Shooting the olive was different for me. I, 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 there's something I decided to try out, something with my facial muscle, and I had to learn to do that. So I would say that's, that's a takeaway. I had to learn to minimize, I don't know if that's, 
the word? I, yeah. Like facial movement. Like and, less is more. Exactly. Not yeah. do too much with my face. So mm. probably that's a, something I picked up. Yeah. I mean, we tried to do it, but I, I was more intentional with the Hollywood. With the character I hate, so yeah. Yeah. How what, about you? Oh, what did I learn? That web series can be really good. <laughs> like, you know, well fleshed out. Mm -hmm. um, actually have time to develop the stories, the characters, and then have like, a, you know, solid team behind it. Exactly. So yeah. that was quite nice. Mm -hmm. it, was, it felt like a proper project. Yeah, and I also learned that we we as an industry mm. can make great drama yes yes and, and this is one of them mm -hmm. like, this is a slow burner mm -hmm. it's a great you never mm -hmm. drama like you've never seen yeah trust me you'll be hooked it's kind of like a gone girl yeah you know you just don't know what's going don't on don't say bro. too much <laughs> it's a slow burner but it picks up you y'all gonna love it yep that's it <laughs> i suppose if i was going to put what i learned in one line it would be Things are never as they seem. A picture might be deeper than what you see when you just look at it. That's what this particular story, story does because uh, my character, well, he's this, but he's also that. So take everything with a pinch of salt and nothing at face value. Life is very much a multifaceted prism. Depending on which angle you're looking at it from, the which angle under what light, you know, will then de will then determine the colors that you see. It, it depends on what your background is when you're looking through a particular angle of the prism. Life is many-sided, life is many-faceted, life is very layered and you, um, it's when, you know, it's, it's that thing that um, a lot of this generation have in saying, I'm speaking my truth. Usually there is truth, but when you're looking at it from various prisms, then there is an individual truth. And I think that's what you're going to get from this series. Thank you for watching the cover on Accelerate TV. Yes. We can't wait to show you guys the olive. It's mm -hmm. coming to you on the 7th of May yes. on our YouTube platform. Yes. Please like, subscribe, share. And um, remember, it is a slow burner. Mm -hmm. It's going to grab you. You will love it. Just take your time. You, you probably hate him, but yeah, okay. yeah. You love me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to love me. <laughs> but it's an amazing, amazing show. May 7, please. Make sure that you've subscribed on YouTube, all right? So as you don't miss it, it's going to be a mad thing. <laughs> Comment. Yes, come on! Drag her, drag her. Please. Drag him. Drag your friends to watch. It's an amazing show, please. Thank Day you. Seven. Don't miss it. The only it's a slow you don't burner. Love it. You don't love it. You don't love it. Love 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 it. Stick with it. Mwah. Thank Mwah. you. Bye. <laughs>